Hey guys, Trainer Games here, and for today's video, I'm going to be replacing the thermal paste on my R9 270X from XFX. Um, so let's get into it. Hey guys, um, we're gonna get started here. Hope I'm not got my hands too much in the view. I'll try to keep them out as much as I can. Um, but I did want to. Uh, I'm gonna replace the thermal paste. See if I can get some better temps because I had to replace the cooler with one that XFX had sent me due to uh, failure. And um, I didn't have enough thermal paste when I put it on in the first place and it was causing it to run way too hot. Um, it was idling at about 60 degrees Celsius. So it was... And, it went up into the 90s, um, just in the menus for game, before even playing the actual game. So, yeah, I didn't have anywhere near enough thermal paste on here. But, let's see. Oh, don't forget, guys, after you take off the four screws here, 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 and here, you got to take off, at least on this, my card, there's going to be two screws back here. Don't forget to take them off. Don't want to lose it. Be careful. Okay, guys. Off comes the cooler very carefully. You may have to pull it to the side, the back plate, back pane. Yeah, see, nowhere near enough thermal paste. Didn't even come up on here. Be very careful when you're removing this um, plug for the fans because it could, you could very well mess up your. Um, card if you're not careful. Um, I'm just gonna check the um the card to make sure that the over the getting hot didn't damage anything. And by the looks of it, everything is still good. No damage, no heat damage, or, or anything. Oh, sorry. There you go. See, that's what the inside of the card looks like. And um, the new cooler that they sent this one was a little bit different than the old one. With the new coolers, they look about the same, but with this one, the new one, it's got just two heat pipes and a solid copper plate. But on the old one, it has four smaller heat pipes and only that a little bit of copper right there while the rest is aluminum. As you guys can see. But I'm hoping with the B maybe this one will run a little bit cooler than this one did before the problems happened. Um, and what went wrong with this one was, if you guys can see, there's the one of the fins spinning perfectly. Look at the other one. The bearing went out on this fan. So if you ever hear any like rattling noise from your fans on your, on your GPU, this might be it. Here's the GPU, the new thing. Um, you're going to need a napkin of some sort, um, I have this microfiber cloth, um, since I don't have a napkin right now, I'm going to use this microfiber cloth.
if you look, they put on way too much for the factory because it's spread all, all around the edges and over there. But I, I can be careful to put not, not to put too much on. Now what you're going to want to do, take open up your tube of thermal paste. This is some Arctic Silver 5. Picked it up from Radio Shack, $13. Could have been gotten it cheaper online, but I wanted it now instead of waiting. Put like maybe a P-shaped dab on there. There you go. No, more. Yeah, just just a tiny drop more to be safe. But this stuff is really good. I've from what I've been told, much better than the stock thermal paste. You can see that's what about what it should look like. Then what you want to do. First is take your card, get it to where you're gonna put it back on together, line it up, um, and line up your fan connector. Line up, line up the fan connector, and plug it back into place. Then lean it this way underneath. Make sure you get this plastic underneath the lip here so it'll go on easier and it should almost and it should then just line up into place and everything should just fall right back in into place then you start reattaching the screws I'm gonna start with the ones on the back Um, I don't have one, but magnetic screwdrivers are a really good investment for something for working on computers, so you don't lose your screws. Which I've almost done many a times, but um, we're getting uh, we're almost done with this video. One of the last few steps. Come on, screw there we go. Now you just gotta screw the last screws back in in the order we took them out in. Or it doesn't I don't know if it really matters, but I I, I like to put them back in in the order they were came out on. But that's me being a little I'm uh anal about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make the, all the jokes you want. I said it. Be very careful, too, when putting in screws, because you don't want to miss and jump. You know, like miss, miss the screw, jump, and damage one of the traces on your card. Because then your card will not work. Ever again. That screw drum driver's spot. Also, um, a good bit of knowledge for you guys, and oh, and we're done. So, sorry, we're done. But a good bit of advice for you guys who have the XFX cards, at least with the AMD cards. Um, 
I talk, I heard this directly from a XFX um, tech support guy. The warranty, vo the warranty is not void if you remove the cooler, whether it be to replace a the thermal paste or um, up, put an upgraded cooler on your card. XFX does not void your warranty for that, which is very helpful. And uh, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I'll show you um, a, a video of what the temps are afterwards. Or I'll show you a clip of what the picture of what the temps are after, at the end of this video, so you can see what it was, how it did after I up, did the thermal paste. And we're done. See you guys later.